So here we have setup installation, double click. Installing Microsoft Visual C++, okay, 2013. Okay, connect to internet to check updates. Um, it is important. Okay, so if you want, check this box. Don't check for updates right now, okay? I will check it. Install. Accept the terms. Downloading Windows Update. Searching for updates, okay? Uh, no updates found. Next. Um, the setup is the same uh, that Link Server 2013, okay? Um, that is small chains here uh, I will show for you okay uh, okay time is remaining one second let's go it finished deployment state determining deployment state okay uh, in on, on link server 2013 uh, you you need install uh, administrative tools so here we have need the same. First, you need install administrative tools, okay? So, click here. Next. Okay, checking for exits. Okay, you press accept license terms, yes. Um, I will. No, I'll come back uh, after the finished installation, okay? I will pause, pause the video. Hi guys, I came back. Uh, task is status. Completed, okay? Finish it. So, um, you need prepare your Active Directory, okay? Um, so, click here. Prepare Active Directory. We have three, three steps, okay? Prepare schema, prepare current forest, and prepare current domain, okay? First, you need to run prepare schema. Run. Next. In this moment, the Skype for Business is change your Active Directory scheme, okay? Don't worry, it's easier and don't will stop your environment. If you prefer, you can run it um, after hour, production hour, okay, work hour. Here, 
you will need install the new client okay Skype for business here Skype for business 2015 okay and here we have to Skype for business 2015 Let's check. OK. Complete. Finish it. Uh, prepare current folders. OK. Run. Next. Local, local domain. Next. Enable the Active Directory folders to host Skype for Business 2015. OK. Complete. The Finish. Prepare current domain. Run. Next. Complete. Did you see? It's very, very easy, okay? And step 7. Add user to provide administrative access to Skype for Business Server Control Panel, okay? Uh, we need and the administrator user in this group let me find cs administrator okay member and okay you're okay um here rtc universal server admins and administrators open okay that's it finish this step back okay uh, we need to run prepare first standard standard edition server okay uh, in this video I will show you how you can install standard server okay prepare single standard server edition next okay uh, i come back when this step is finished okay i will pause the video hi guys i came back okay uh, prepare First standard edition server is finished. Okay, finish here. Now uh, you need configure your topology. Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, Skype uh, and server 2013. Okay, Skype for business server topology builder. So new topology okay taking basic okay guys i will be back soon came back now okay uh let's create our topology okay you can define another name here okay save primary zip domain put your domain here clicking next if he, you have another zip domain you can put here for example example one dot com dot br okay and click yet if you don't have ignore this step and click next name define the first site in my case SP if you want put here uh, a description next city 
I am in Sao Paulo. Stage Pro SP Brazil. Okay, next. Open the new front end wizard when this wizard closes. Okay, so finish here and a new step. Here uh, you will define uh, the configuration, your topology. Okay. Um, set standard edition server. So here, um, let me check. Host name, host name, host name. Okay, we have link zero one. Uh, S R V T A C T E C L Y N C zero one dot your fkdn okay domain if you don't know you can check here active directory here okay if you if you have uh, domain dot local you need to put here server name dot domain dot local okay don't forget it click next set check confer conferencing include audio video and application sharing okay next don't check this and don't check this okay uh, SQL Server Store. Okay, yeah, SQL is Express here. Okay, Standard Server install SQL Express. Click Next. Here we need put our sharing. So here I have the name. copy so and paste okay and if you put another server you need to change this information okay you need to uh, put uh, your file server here and file share name next external basic URL so here I will change um, in, in on link server 2013 is common put it this okay so I will change it escape for business okay escape for business dot base dot com dot br uh, next associate pool with uh, an office web app server uncheck finish and let's check our configuration okay here standard edition server front end s r v t e c l y n c zero one dot stacking base dot com dot br okay simple url uh, okay uh, administrative access URL properties edit properties okay here you can put the new HTTPS admin SFB dot tacking base dot com dot br okay um, Shared components SQL SQL Server Store File Store. That's it. So, right button topology publish. Next, please wait while topology builder verifying our deployment. Okay, next. 
creating central management store okay in this moment link is configuring the SQL extruder okay publish topology Enable the body. Finish. Success, success, and success. Okay, no problem here. Finish. Uh, okay, let's check. Install administrative tools. Done. Prepare Active Direct. Done. Prepare first standard edition server. Done. Uh, create your topology and publish it. Done. Now, install or update Skype for Business Server System. Okay? We have four steps here. Let's check it. Install local configuration store. Set up Skype for Business Server components. Request, install, or assign certificates. Okay? and start services run the step one install local configuration store run retrieve directly from the central management store ok next ok um, I will be back soon, okay? I will pause the video. After this installation, I will be back. Guys, I came back, okay? Uh, I finished here. So, successful, completed, finished. Determining deployment state, okay? Step two now. Set up or remove Skype for Business Server. In this moment, I will install Skype for Business, okay? And the components, the builds, the EIS, IIS, and components. So, 